All right, looks like we're live, and that must mean it's Friday. Welcome to this week's Friday live stream. I am Craig, your host. Glad to have you here. As we get started, I'm actually going to, uh, very first thing, put uh, a link to a straw poll. As we get started today, we're going to be talking about um, what are the most important things to you when it comes to a streaming interface. So I'm not necessarily talking about the device itself. You know, we can talk about tech specs and all that stuff, but I'm really just kind of talking about the day-to-day -day experience of of using the the uh, streaming interface or device. So we're talking about uh, things like search, uh, things like recommendation algorithms, um, you know, th that sort of thing. So go to that poll and, uh, and, and let me know what you think uh, is the most important thing um, uh, out of the list of, I think I've got 10 on there. Uh, and what, what we're going to do is rank order those. As you guys all vote on that, we'll rank order them and uh, then vote on uh, a bracket. It'll be a lot of fun, I hope. Uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. But uh, as you're doing that, I will, first of all, say hello, Sh Shoab, Reliance. Uh, let's see, who else? Just uh, Ian. Um, welcome. Glad to have you all here. Uh, okay. Now, what else was I going to do? Oh, yes. We need to talk about uh, giveaways. Like it says up here. There you go. Weekly giveaways. Last week, it was an Anchor USB-C charger. Um, and then I'll talk about what we're, what we're doing this week because it is a little more special. Uh, anyway, but the winner last week of the Anchor USB-C charger is... Where's that name? There it is. Belinda Mullins. Belinda Mullins, congratulations. You'll be receiving an email very soon uh, with some uh, instructions on how to get that. So uh, thank you very much for entering for that. And for the rest of you, uh, yeah, definitely go to that page, reviews.org slash giveaways. Uh, go check out that page. This week, we are not updating that yet. So when I say go check out that page, uh, for now, you're going to need to bookmark it because we're doing something a little bit different. In fact, I'll, I'll go ahead and take that off right now um, because we are doing something a little bit different in that uh, next week's live stream will be the announcement of the dream job uh, winner. Winner isn't quite the right word because it's more like an application process than just like, a, I, I, whatever. Anyway, the person, the, the dream jobber, <laughs> and uh, we do these every once in a while. Many of you are probably familiar with these dream jobs that we've done in the past. We did, uh, you know, Christmas movie marathons. Um, uh, what was the other thing? Disney Plus. Oh, yeah. Disney Plus movie marathons when that came out year and a half, two years ago almost. Um, anyway, this time it's subscription boxes. We want somebody to test out 10 subscription boxes and uh, let us know how they go, whether, basically whether subscription boxes are worth the money. It's something that uh, at reviews.org we're kind of dipping our toes into. Uh, and so one of the first things that we want to do is get feedback from somebody else out there, somebody on the ground uh, who you know, can, can help us uh, know whether 10 subscription boxes are worth, uh, worth the trouble. So um, let's see. Uh, oh, somebody says they can't hear me. Um, I apparently ev everybody can. So uh, hopefully that's hopefully that's not too widespread an issue. Anyway, um, I, I wanted to show you the page and get you that link. So let's see. Here is the link for that. It's for the subscription box dream job. Um, so if you go over to reviews.org, this is what the page would look like. Um, Get paid two thousand dollars to try subscription boxes. Not a bad deal, as far as I'm concerned. Two thousand bucks plus. You don't have to pay for the subscription boxes. We'll do that for you, All right? So, um, you come down here. There's a, a way to. If you go all the way to the bottom, there's a way to to uh, apply to be the reviews.org subscription box specialist. That's the word I'm looking for. The specialist. Um, anyway, and on here we've got some uh, some uh, a list of subscription bo subscription boxes you can choose from. Uh, in your testing. So it's a pretty cool one. I really hope if you haven't done it yet that you go over to this page and check this one out. Um, it, it doesn't doesn't cost you anything. It, you know, it's just a quick application. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then it's off to the races. We'll choose a specialist next week and that will be announced uh, during this live stream next week. So 
yeah, go, go, please go check that out. Um, those are always a ton of fun and I'm, I love doing those. Um, okay. So, sound is fine. Says David waiting for the air force to arrive. Yeah. They've been very busy the last couple of days. I'm hoping they got it all out of their system. I guess we'll see. Um, okay. Is, is this looking really like low to anybody else, but me, here we go. Okay. Now I look like a real streamer. All right. Um, Let's get that uh, poll one more time. Um, okay. So go hit up this poll. I've only got a couple of votes so far. That's okay. It's going to take a little while. Um, but let me know of the 10, um, let's see, wait, here we go. Of the 10 uh, things listed, what is the most important to you? The most important feature in a streaming service, we've got search, ease of use, remote, uh, the neutrality, the recommendation algorithm, app availability, interface ads, side loading, parental controls, or customization. Um, and so it's something like customization, that's up to interpretation, but that's okay. That's You interpret it as you will. Um, Ian, I think your phone is going wonky again. That's uh, It's the only explanation here. <laughs> uh okay uh oh interesting so derek says most important to me is available apps nothing else matters if i can't access the content i want that is not a bad way to look at it so yeah uh well reasoned derek um still only got a couple of votes in there though so i know there are a few of you uh kind of kind of lurking around um yeah, let's see. I voted. It says says I voted, but it isn't showing up in the graph. Well, let's refresh the page. Make sure it's refreshing. Okay. Yeah, it could be broken. Could be broken. Oh well. We'll let it go. Basically, what I wanted to do with this was uh, to do a seeding system because I'm going to take those. Uh, here, I'll show you. I'm going to take those 10 things and work them into this uh, this bracket right here. And we'll have some fun for the next hour or so um, voting on, you know, which ones are the best and most important things. Um, <laughs> it's not counting your vote. I'm sorry, Marcus. I don't I don't uh, I don't run the straw poll website, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> nice um, man. Letterman been a hot minute um let's see so show up says smooth working interface is important too my newest fire stick has been very clunky so this is one that i did not put on the list you can see my my list of uh of uh topics or what, whatever uh, my list here i didn't put i the closest i came to something like that is reliability but i didn't put speed on there um Although, you know, I maybe could, but I just thought it skated a little bit too close to um, to the device specs. So it's like, well, if speed is important to you, it's not that Roku is better than Google TV. It's that Roku Ultra is better than Roku Express, right? Um, and so I kind of, I wanted to, as much as possible, kind of stay away from, uh, from that, uh, you know, getting into the device specifics. Uh, so the closest I come to that is reliability and probably the remote as well. Um, so yeah, uh, that's, so that's where we're sitting on that. Let me see if it's, uh, if it's counting any other votes. Yeah, it's, that's very weird. It's not, it doesn't seem to be counting any other votes. Um, hey, I know we've had more than two of you in there, so it's strange that it wouldn't be working. Um, huh. Oh, well. Oh, well, we'll just seed it ourselves, okay? You can pop in there one more time. We'll see if it works. <laughs> just one more time to double check. Um, and if it, if it doesn't work this time, then oh, well. Uh, okay. Ian's here. All right. Now you see the video. Welcome. Glad you're here. You know, I, I love uh, having a, a few regulars. I know there are a lot of you who pop in every once in a while, every few weeks, and that's I, we love having you too. But it's really fun to see the regulars, uh, you know, whether that's you, Ian, or, or Shoeb, or whoever else uh, comes. So, yeah, welcome back. Really gr glad to have you here. Um, and I hope today is, uh, is at least fun um, and uh, maybe possibly interesting as well. So I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that straw poll is not working, folks. It is not working at all. So, okay, we're going to go on.
we're just going to move on from that, okay? Pretend it never happened. All right, so we've got uh, the most important feature in a streaming interface. Let's just go ahead and seed this. I'm going to, basically what I want to do is uh, I, I want to do some tournament seeding um, so that, you know, you don't end up with uh, the wrong thing competing against something else. So let's see. Um, parental controls is probably low. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to give these a one, two, or three. High, medium, or low. Um, although it's been pretty important to me. Um, let's see, a three, ads, or a two, reliability. Probably, and what I, I guess what I'm trying to do here is not say what is or isn't the best or most important feature to you or, or this or that specific person. But like, in general, what do most people think of first? Um, or, you know, first or second, as they are thinking about purchasing a streaming device. Um, and so while parental controls may be cool and important, they're not necessarily top of mind. That's why I'm putting that one pretty low. Um, the remote, honestly, I don't think people consider that as much as I think they should. Um, so I'll give it a two. Search, probably the same. Neutrality, people don't necessarily think of that. Although, you know, there is another one we could put on here. Um, and that would be... Um, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking at? Ecosystem. The ecosystem that it's involved in. So, you know, if it's an Apple device or something like that, that's probably pretty high, honestly. I, I missed out on that one. Um, side loading, most people don't think about that. Customization, nah. People don't. Yeah. Reliability, probably a two. App availability is a one. Recommendations is or should be a one. Ease of use. Is a one neutrality is probably a two. All right. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and start seeding. We'll just try not to put any of the ones next to each other. Oh no. Okay. Well, we'll fix that later. Um, or we won't. That's fine. Either way. Ah, you know what? Yeah. Let's just do it this way. Um, ease of use. We'll we'll do um. Okay, here we go. Now we can go to a bold 14. There we go. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay. Recommendations. Why isn't that capitalized? This is fun. This is riveting TV, you guys, just in case anybody was wondering. Um, <laughs> this is good. This is good. Uh, your chart looks very small on my phone. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I will blow it up in just a moment to be a little bit bigger. Um, but it... Um, it will, uh, yeah, it'll get a little bit bigger, but yeah, on a phone, this will probably be a little bit tough to read, but I'm going to do what I can on that. But yeah, I know phone screens are pretty, pretty small. Um, recommendations, boy, that's a big word. Um, okay, next up we've got apps. Let's just say apps. Um, and then we'll do, what was another, uh, let's see, ecosystem. I, I actually like that. Um, okay, versus some threes. What are, what are some threes we've got? Parental controls. Uh, and then let's do side loading. And customization. Uh, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna put a two in here. Let's put some twos in here. Search. Do the. Uh, you know what? Here's what we'll do. Okay, we're going to take the ecosystem off here. No, we're going to take search off here. Okay, with the rest, we'll vote. Okay, or see what you guys have to say. So uh, Robotech is asking about system specs. Um, this is one where, yeah, it, it's a great question. Why aren't any of these on here? It's because I'm trying to take the actual tech specs out of the equation as much as possible. Some of these get into that a little bit, like reliability. Uh, but because within different uh, within different streamer streamer families, you know, you've got like you've got the Roku Express versus the Roku Ultra. Yeah, we're not going to really get into that, you know. So the tech specs are going to be a big deal within the Roku ecosystem, or you know, Fire Stick versus Fire TV Cube. So, um, so I'm trying to take that out of the equation just so that we can look at um, it, the the videos that I'm doing. That I one I did one this week. I'll do one next week. I'll do a few more uh, in the future. Are trying to gauge people's um, 
uh, reactions to the eco or not the ecosystem, the interface, uh, right? So the, the Roku interface versus the Google TV interface. That's what I did this week. I think next week it's Google TV versus Fire TV, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, so that's why I'm not doing um, any of the, the memory, the processor speed, et cetera. Um, okay, so what do we what do we take off of here you know what let's uh i'm i'm gonna take side loading off because it's such a power user move that um it's it, you know if, if that is important to somebody i you know i just don't um like they already know it so um let's do recommendations versus uh, oh i you know what, let's let's set that one up against neutrality um that would be a good pairing Next, we've got, let's see, what else? Apps availability is a must. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I'm kind of with you on that one, William. Okay. What else do we got? What else do we got here? Let's uh, blow this back up for you a little bit. Remote search. We Do I have the remote on there? We took the remote off. The remote is going to be very important, I think. Um, and then search. Yeah, let's, okay. We've got those. Oh, hey, there's the Air Force. They're here to bomb us. So that's fun. Uh, yeah, that, that should do us. Okay, so with that in mind, let's see if I can do a full screen. I wonder if... Um, oh, no, let's... Uh, can I blow this up a little bit? 125? 150. Okay, yeah, let's... I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's delete that row so we can maybe, aha, there we go. And hopefully that will work a little bit better for uh, whoever was saying it was uh, pretty small on the phone. Um, let's see, while we're doing that, Richie, welcome. Glad to have you back. Um, <laughs> it does the Air Force, does the Air Force do? Hoo I know that's uh, the Marines, right? Hoorah. All right. So now that we have that, um, let's go ahead and, uh, and pull up some, some straw polls. Uh, we're going to be doing some straw polls. First up is going to be ease of use versus parental controls. Um, oops. All right. Uh, so what did I say? Ease of use versus parental controls. Okay, so what is most important to you? Like, what do you what do you think of first? So, what do we mean by ease of use? Ease of use um, is a, the the way that I define it, at least, is if you were to hand a streaming device or you know a streaming interface to somebody and say, "What is?" Or, and say, "Do this." You know, what are the chances that somebody with no experience will be able to go through and uh, and make that work? Um, and so notoriously Roku is very accessible, right? It's an extremely simple interface. Um, and so, um, here we go here, let's pull that up for you. And so, you know, it, it has a high, um, it, it has a high level of uh, ease of use, right? So here is the straw poll for this page. Let's, uh, let's pull this up. Check out the results as you guys go vote. So please go vote. Um, you know, we'll, we'll wait till we have a handful. I'd like to get yeah, minimum a half dozen. And we've got, um, what, uh, 35, 40 of you here. Uh, hopefully more will start trickling in as we go. Often, you know, it seems like people start trickling in around the 20, 30, 40 minute marks. Um, so we'll be going like this for a while. But I, yeah, I'd like to get uh, 10, 15, uh, maybe if we can. So as you go through, oh my gosh, okay. Ease of use, six votes, parental controls, zero. Okay. So can I, I tell you guys something? I, I maybe should have, um, uh, I maybe should have mentioned this before. So I just bought a second Chromecast device. Um, so this is a personal purchase. This was not uh, a reviews.org purchase because um, I got the first one to review it and really fell in love with it. Uh, and I got it specifically for the parental controls. Um, and so, so for me, I mean, I'm, I'm a somewhat advanced user, at least, uh, when it comes to streaming devices. And uh, so ease of use isn't as important to me. Um, with parental controls, I've got two little kids. Basically, I want this thing. It, it has features on the Chromecast where it'll 
Um, you can set a timer. So you can say 60 minutes a day or whatever uh, is, and then it'll shut off. Um, it's also got bedtime features. So, you know, it won't turn on, it won't go to the kid's profile after 8 p.m. Uh, or, you know, whatever time you set, 9 p.m. Uh, and then it won't turn on again until 7 a.m., whatever you want to do with it. So um, anyway, so yeah, I did it specifically for the uh, parental controls. But hey, that's just me. It looks uh, to me like the rest of you are saying that ease of use is more important. So we're going to go um, ease of use. All right. So if we pull that back up, there we go. All right, so ease of use. Next up is going to be recommendations versus neutrality. So let's talk about this before we actually um, before we actually go and vote. Recommendations versus neutrality. Okay, so um, again, this is kind of a Roku versus the rest of the world. S sort of, sort of. Um, Roku is extremely neutral, but it does no recommendations at all. Um, I think that's pretty fair to say. I guess I shouldn't say at all. It does very few, if any, recommendations. Um, but then on the other side, you know, you've got um, uh, Google TV, which I just highlighted this week, where, yeah, they, they actually have a really strong al uh, recommendation algorithm. So if you're looking for something to watch, uh, it's going to make it a little bit easier than it would with, uh, say, the Roku, where, you know, they just expect you to figure it out. Um, uh, what was I going to say? But uh, but I guess it's not quite so clean cut because you get like um, the uh, Google TV interface has great. Uh, it has pretty good neutrality. It does lean. It, it pushes you. It nudges you toward uh, purchasing uh, or renting, purchasing Google products. Uh, but it doesn't kind of really get in your face about that. Fire TV is notorious for doing that. Uh, Apple is the worst, obviously, <laughs> when it comes to like, hey, if you're if you're on your Apple TV, of course, you're going to buy everything through iTunes at all times. Duh, um, which I which I do not care for. But uh, but if you're hey, if you're in that ecosystem, then it uh, it could be a thing for you. So uh, recommendations versus neutrality. Uh, let's see what you all say. Okay. So here we go. Uh, ease of you, or sorry, recommendations versus neutrality. What is more important to you? Not, not having something pushed on you or not, not having with the neutrality, not having to uh, make your purchases through one specific place. Or is it more important that uh, you be able to figure out what to watch next? Um, you know, that, that is one downfall of Roku is that it's, you can't, you can't just kind of channel surf <laughs> the way, or, you know, whatever the streaming version of channel surfing is, what do they call it? Doom scrolling. I uh, know that's a different thing. That's like reading the news or whatever. <laughs> uh, it's the, the endless scroll through, uh, like the Netflix, um, thing you, with Google TV, you can kind of it takes that scroll scrolling feature and it brings in all of the apps to help you do that. So I kind of like that anyway, but let's see what you all have to say about it. Um, all right. Are we getting no votes? No votes. Come on, people. Let's see. I let's see. So Derek says, I already know what I want to watch. Don't need recommendations. Love Roku. Okay. I, I assume that means uh, Roku. But uh, yeah, hey, if you know what you want to watch, you know what you want to watch. That is not the case for all of us. Um, I know it's not always the case for me. It's broken again. Is it really broken again? You guys, am I going to need to find a new? Oh, it's broken again. Oh, you guys. Um, okay. Let's see if we can fix it. I, I've been using this straw poll site for these for a while. Um, I don't know why. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's try one more time. You know, if it, if it doesn't work this time, then, um, then we will just do, we'll just do a voice vote in the chat. Okay. Uh, so Mandy, welcome, Mandy. Glad to see you. Uh, that is very fun to have Mandy with us. I mean, it's fun to have all of you with us, but uh, but I know Mandy. 
So, okay. Let's try one more time. See if we can get this going. Go to that straw poll website. Make it work. Okay. Make it work for me. What's more important to me, I wonder? Hmm. Okay. I voted. I voted and it's not working. Okay. So, yep, it's we're gonna we're gonna call it there, folks. So give me uh okay, so just give me your vote in the chat. The uh the straw poll site isn't working, which uh as you can imagine is dumb. That is dumb. So we're just gonna do our own thing, okay? Um yeah, womp womp is right. Yeah, that was very anticlimactic. I love using that thing. You know, it's fun to to have you guys all go vote and click and get to see the see the graph uh, with what y'all think. But we'll just do it in the chat, okay? So hit me up with the chat. Um, let's see. We've got. We'll we'll start here with uh, Joe's neutrality. We've got recommendations, neutral, neutral. A lot of neutrality. One recommendation, two recommendations. Okay. All right. So I'll let you go for another uh, 20 seconds or so, but it looks like neutrality is winning uh, four to two up to this point. Um, Ian, what did you what did you vote for? Neutrality, that's five to two. Um, okay. Yep, okay, I think we'll call it there. That's, uh, that's quite a few votes for neutrality. So let's bring this back up. Um, and we'll do... Uh, I can type, I swear. Okay, neutrality. There you go. So Mandy says recommendations. Deborah says recommendations. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm I, I'm actually, I, I voted. It didn't count my vote because this stupid thing is broken. But I voted for recommendations. Um, it's, again, this is a totally subjective thing. There's no, there's no right answer here, right? Um, I'm really just interested in hearing what you all think. Uh, and and you know whether that's in line with what i think it's uh, as they say you are not your you are not your readers you are not your viewers right so i wanted to see how we line up together and on this one we do not uh, neutrality is more important to most of you than it is to me and i think it's because uh, after a while you know i've kind of learned how to how to get around the neutrality issue or how to not get uh, how to not get nudged in the way that these companies want to nudge me um, uh, just by virtue of, <laughs> you know, using and evaluating streaming services for years and years. It's uh, it, it brings a, an, an, an inevitable level of sophistication, I suppose. Um, but I definitely get sucked into the trap of I don't know what to watch next. And, uh, you know, and I don't I don't really want to scroll through five different services i'd rather just see it all on google tv's interface or uh let's see what's the other one that that does that well i mean well android tv does my built on the same platform but yeah um i just don't care for the tracking okay so i don't care for the tracking i understand that yeah if it's uh, if it's a privacy issue um yeah I don't know. I don't have a ton else to say about that. But let's let's move on to the next one. Let's uh, go here to, let's see, we've got apps versus search. Okay, so uh, go ahead and vote as you will. But um, let's let's talk about this one a little bit. The apps, and by apps, I mean app availability. Uh, so does it have everything that you want? Um, this is less of an issue than it was three or four years ago, uh, even than it was one year ago. But it is still an issue for a few things and for a few people versus search, which is something that not everybody takes advantage of. I thought it was kind of the end all be all for a while, but then I found out through, uh, you know, various websites and polling and, and uh, discussion boards and whatnot that not everybody uses search on their device. Uh, they just kind of, they browse uh, and almost never search for anything specific. And so if that's the case for you, um, you know, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Um, I, to be honest, I use it less than I thought I would when I first started out on my streaming journey. Um, but app availability, very important. Um, so <laughs> Mandy is standing alone. We've got Shoeb says apps. Joe says apps. William says apps, apps, apps. But I like to search. And Mandy says search all the way. All right. Um, okay. Search is where I want neutrality, says Joe. Yeah, you know, if you watched my video earlier this week, um, this is something that uh, that 
I kind of, I intertwined the two of them because they are, I, I feel like they are very intertwined um, that uh, in my searching what comes up, right? So uh, it's not the only place neutrality matters, but yeah, it is a big one. So that's, that's a good comment. Uh, but it looks like most of you are saying apps. Um, oh yeah, this, oh, this is a huge thing. Derek says, uh, I love Roku, but if it loses regular YouTube at some point, I'm going back to Chromecast with Google TV. I feel that, man. Uh, that is a whole thing if, now I, I don't know what's going to happen, but I, I can't imagine Roku would let that happen because that would be huge. That would be very, that would be a very big deal. Um, for me, when I think of um, apps, uh, the, the one that comes to mind right now is Twitch. So I don't know how many of you are video gamers or video game enthusiasts at least, but I like, uh, I've been watching StarCraft tournaments for like a decade now. And, um, and Twitch is where I do that. And it is not available on Roku. It was at some point, but then they dropped their Roku support. I don't know if there was a dispute or if they just didn't want to keep up the technical side of it or whatever. Um, uh, but it's gone now off of Roku and I am salty. I do not care for that. So, um, so let's see apps, apps, apps. Yep. There you go. Um, there you go. You can have neutrality, but then if you have neutrality, you can't have uh, an ecosystem. It's one or the other. I, yeah, I mean, in theory, that's not right. But in practice, you're absolutely correct. Um, in theory, you could have Google Google do the exact same thing that Roku does in its search neutrality. Um, but I mean, in practice, why why would you, right? I mean, it it makes complete sense for them not to be totally neutral. So, yeah. So I don't get uh, I don't get too bitter about it when it comes to the to the neutrality thing. It's like it's something that I like, but I'm not mad about it, if that makes any sense. So there you go. Um, yes, I do. Uh, so Ian says, uh, do I have a PS4 or PS5? I do have a PS4 sitting right next to me. I don't have a PS5 yet because I'm not cool. Uh, apparently that's a cool kids have PS5s. I'm not a cool kid, unfortunately. Um, I've been wanting to get one for a while. So if anybody has a line on one, you let me know. Um, there are a few games I've been waiting to play because I don't want to play them on the PS4. Um, all right. But to be honest, I don't do as much uh, video gaming as I used to, as I, as I would like to. All right, let's go to ecosystem versus remote. Um, so ecosystem, is it more important to you that uh, like with the Fire TV, it integrates, it integrates with all of your Echo devices. Um, you can even do a thing where, um, uh, and I, I tried this a long time ago, it's been a while since I did it, but um, you can take a fire stick, you plug in your fire stick, and then you hook it up to different uh, echo devices and use them as your TV speakers, uh, which is pretty sweet. Um, you, so you can get, uh, you can get like, a, what's the, the echo studio, you get a couple of echo studios, and then you get some echo dots, like for surround sound, you get some, you know, whatever. Um, it's, it's a pretty cool idea. So the ecosystem can get really, uh, can get really sweet. Um, but the remote is going to be possibly more important on a day to day basis, right? This is the thing that you hold in your hand. The thing that makes the, the whole system go. Uh, and so if the remote sucks, I, I feel like if the remote sucks, the whole thing sucks. Um, and not all remotes are created equal. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious. What do you all think? Go ahead and uh, hit the hit the uh, chat. Let me know what you think is more important: the ecosystem or the remote? Having uh, having good integration or having a good remote? Um, let's see. So Shoaib says you can't integrate Google with Echo or Ring. Well kind of that's the thing about ecosystems and you can to a certain extent just not very well or very easily so i've got three remotes i've got an ecosystem i'll give you guys a few more seconds um it, it takes a, a it takes a few seconds for them to come through on my end uh because i my streaming software handles both facebook and uh and youtube so it takes a little while for them to bring them all in. All right. So we've got remote, 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 remote ecosystem, couple ecosystems. 
Um, yeah, with Chromecast, can't you download a remote via your phone? So with the old Chromecast system, I mean, it's still there, It's but it is the old Chromecast system. The Your phone was the remote. There was no remote. You just did everything on your phone and then casted it to the screen. Cast, casted, cast it, and then cast it to the screen. Um, and now you can still do that. And you can also, with all of these devices, I know Roku does it, I'm pretty sure Fire TV does it, where you can get a, a phone remote to do everything you want. But honestly, it's it's. Um, I think that's really good, especially for uh, typing. So if you're putting in email addresses, passwords, something like that, it's way easier to do on your phone than clicking on the remote. Uh, but with your regular day-to-day, -day, I just want to sit down and watch the TV. It's a little bit clunky to have to then pull out your phone scroll through everything and then cast it to your TV. Uh, I think most people would probably prefer the remote on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, Ripstorm, fantastic name. Uh, yeah, the core of how you interact with everything. So remote, remote. I have seen the new Fire Stick <laughs> remote and they, I don't have one here, unfortunately. So I'll just use this as an example, the Roku remote. So this is uh, the, here we go. Uh, you know what? I guess I can blow myself up a little bit. They've got the um, the bought and paid for uh, app buttons here. Netflix, Sling, Hulu, Roku. Um, and uh, so for those of you who haven't seen, the new Fire Stick remote uh, integrates those as well. I, I can't remember. Did they do four of them or just two? Uh, whatever. Um, and it's, uh, you know, a lot of people hate that. But um, I, I can't say that I mind it all that much. Uh, it, it doesn't bother me that much, but I, I can see how it would be a little bit annoying, but uh, it's just one more way for them to make some revenue so that they are, they're selling this. This is essentially ad space, right? It's ad space right on your remote, but by selling ad space here, they're not selling ad space on the interface. So, you know, give and take, what's, what do you prefer? Um, all right. So most people are saying, uh, remote, it looks like we're going to give that one the win on this one. So show you said, um, uh, let's see, I got the new fire stick TV remote. Let me know. They let us know in the chat. What do, what do you think of it? Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and put this down here. So apps versus, or yeah, we'll do apps versus remote in just a moment, I guess, um, up, up here. Ease of use versus neutrality. Okay, this could be an interesting one. Ease of use versus neutrality. We talked about this a little bit earlier, but I know some of you have joined since then. So ease of use, what do we mean by that? By ease of use, I am talking about the idea that if you handed a streamer, you you know, you know, hand a Roku, you hand a, uh, what's, all I've got is Roku. There we go. Oh. What's this? Uh, TiVo Stream 4K remote. Oh, that is a, that's a busier remote, right? Um, so if you hand somebody a Roku and say, you know, they, they're brand new to streaming. They've never cut the cord. They're like, oh my gosh, I guess I better join this revolution or whatever it is. Um, how, how quickly are they going to be able to pick it up? Okay. So how quickly are they going to be able to figure out, okay, so here's how I watch Netflix. Okay. So here's how I search for, um, you know, my favorite movie from the eighties. I don't know. What's your favorite movie from the eighties? Um, Risky business, okay? That's nobody's favorite movie, but uh, <laughs> how do I search for risky business on uh, you know on my streaming device? Well, that's ease of use. Being able to figure out how to do these things without resorting to you know calling up your relatives or googling it or whatever. How how easy is it to figure out? Um, so some are easier than others. Um, Roku is notoriously easy. I think Android TV isn't as easy. I think Google TV is easier than Android TV was, but hey, that's, that's again, a very subjective thing to say. I think Fire TV isn't great. Um, uh, Google TV is pretty good. So anyway, uh, so yeah, let me know. Go ahead, hit the chat. Ease of use versus neutrality. Um, and let me know what you think. Neutrality being uh, the interface not pointing you toward buying things from a certain distributor. Um, so if you, you know, if you're on the fire TV stick, it's going to want you to purchase things through Amazon. If you're on Google TV, it wants you to purchase through Google, et cetera, et cetera. Um, say, but even within that, so Roku obviously is very neutral. Google TV is better at being neutral than Amazon or Apple are. Uh, so yeah, let's see what y'all say. Uh, ease of use, ease of use. Wow. 
A lot of you going for ease of use. Um, okay. While you guys are voting, this sucks. I, I integrated my new Echo Dot with my new Fire TV, but every time I watch, it freezes and crashes like each and every time. I've been unable to disconnect the two even though I did it in the app. Um, I've been having this uh, problem with freezing and crashing uh, when I watch Apple TV Plus on my Chromecast, uh, the, the new Chromecast with Google TV. Um, I finally, it's been, it's been crashing and I wasn't sure what to blame it on. And I think I need to do a little bit more... Um, uh, a little more verification, but I think it's the fault of the uh, Apple TV app um, and how it's interacting with the Chromecast. So, yeah, it sucks. Oh, yeah, ease of use, ease of use. Oh, we got one, one neutrality from Ian. So way to hold strong, but ease of use does win on here. So, all right, we're getting close. We're getting very, very close. All right, so one more round of four here. Apps versus remote. Um. Now, somebody earlier said, you know, uh, it, you know, if it doesn't have the app I want, then it, nothing else matters. And that is legit. However, what I mean by this, as we're voting for this, before you go cast your vote in apps versus remote, consider it this way. Um, do you use any apps? Excuse me, man, I'm dying here. Do you use any apps that might not be um, that might not be available? I mean, for the most part, you're talking about Netflix or Hulu or Prime Video or, you know, I, I don't know, Peacock, whatever. It, pretty much everything is available. All the big ones are available everywhere. Um, and so I think I, I think about this less than I used to because everything is just available everywhere, except for some of the niche things like Twitch. Um, so so that's what I mean. It's not like it's not like. Um, you know, which device has the most apps because they all have the most apps now. <laughs> but what we're asking here is what do you think of first when you go to uh, buy a new streamer? Uh, you know, if you're thinking about switching over to a different one or whatever, what is most important? Is app availability top of mind for you or is the remote top of mind? Let me know what you think. Go ahead and vote. Hit the uh, Hit the chat and let me know. All right. So, oh yeah, it's... This is totally legit. My LG TV web OS doesn't have HBO Max, so I got a Chromecast for that. Yeah, like LG lags. Put an A in there. Call it lag TV. They're, they're lagging behind in their uh, their OS, um, and they, they need to do some work to catch up. Uh, so yeah, I, that's but that's a whole thing. Apps, 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 apps. Wow, okay, apps. Do -do -do. Uh -huh. Everybody's saying apps again. We are we are at odds, hive mind. We are at odds. I would have said remote. I would have said remote every day of the week. Um, I I think the remote is wildly important and wildly underrated in its importance. And this is just one more <laughs> piece of evidence. Uh, you're all you're all wrong. That's but that's fine. That's fine. It's you know. Oh, where's my mug? on the other side of the room uh so yeah if you're on youtube go purchase a uh, craig is always right mug from our teespring store um <laughs> both this, look solomon can't split this baby okay we can't have both uh so <laughs> all right so i did get i did get one or two remotes in there but uh yeah it looks like apps definitely won so this is it this is it everybody the grand finals um, what is the most important thing and what, what's going to be interesting about this before we, before we move on to this, uh, last one is I'll be able to go through, you know, with, um, I'll be able to weight these, you know, like the, the, you get, uh, three points for, for winning outright and two points for, you know, whatever. And then I'll kind of use this to gauge later on, not during this stream, maybe in another video. Um, I'll use this to gauge, uh, which device has the overall best interface according to you people who value apps over the remote um but uh yeah yeah I, it, look joe this is a, a whole thing remote is extremely important but if it doesn't have what i want to watch what good is the remote and my point is that with some exceptions i understand there are some little exceptions but with some exceptions pretty much every device has pretty much every app now 
Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> there you go. I was going for apps, but Craig changed my mind. He's always right. That's that is correct. Dang it! I need my mug. I'm not going to stand up to go get it, but uh, but yeah, the the remote could be an app. That's true. Nicely done. <laughs> Y'all are too clever for me. Okay, here we go. Ease of use versus apps. Ready, set, go. What is your vote for what is the most important feature in a streaming interface? What What do you think of when you think, oh, okay, I got to use this thing every day. I'm going to watch TV. I'm going to watch movies. I'm going to rent. I'm going to search. I'm going to whatever. Um, what do you think of first? Is it easy to use or does it have the apps I want? Pick which one you think is the most important. Okay. Yeah, well, there is that, Joe. What about next year? Yeah, well, at some point, this will all calm down and uh, the streaming wars will settle into the streaming ceasefires. I don't know. <laughs> Hashtag UX. Yeah, all right. So apps, apps, ease of use. Um. Oh boy, this is actually, it looks pretty close. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys are killing me. You got you this is this is awful. Okay. Okay. Five more, five more seconds. Get your get your votes in if you want to, and then I'm gonna call it and I'm gonna try desperately to uh to count this. I make no promises though. It's going to be very difficult. Okay. So, uh, ending with a line. All right. So, app, 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 app. Okay. So, that's nine for apps. Nine for apps. And then we've got, let's see, ease, ease, ease. Uh, Five, six, six. Yeah. Okay. So apps won. E this was the closest one we had, which is appropriate for the finals. But um, ease of use ended up with um, six, and apps ended up with ten. Oops, ten. So there you go. Apps wins. If it doesn't have the app you want, what's the point of it all anyway? Not. Oh, whoops. I need to take that off there. <laughs> Not a bad way to go um you're you're all reasonable even if you're wrong about the apps versus remote thing so but you're all but you're yeah you're not crazy you're just wrong <laughs> so thank you all uh here let's let's put it up one more time so you can all see where we ended up uh apps one out versus ease of use versus the remote versus the search function i it's it's interesting the search didn't even make it out of the uh out of the first round, but there you go. I'm actually surprised recommendations didn't make it out of the first round, but hey, that's just me. Um, like I was saying, there's a, let's see, 42 in the chat session, where's the voters? You know what, William, a lot of people lurk and that's okay. They're all welcome too. I, you know, I hope they enjoy this. I hope uh, everybody's getting some fun out of it, but not everybody is uh, participating and that's okay. You know, if you're sitting at work and you don't have the, you don't have the ability to sit there and type, something out that's totally fine so yep i'm happy with that if there are any nope i don't see any other votes that came in so yeah i think we're good there anyway so yeah this this is going to be helpful to me as i do future videos on uh the streaming interfaces and kind of ranking them and, and pitting them side side by side um so let's see yeah mandy you know what mandy i'm kind of i'm with you You'll have the apps you want, but a hard time navigating them. Yeah, this, it, I, I think, you know, it's fair to say that it's because apps beat ease of use. That doesn't mean ease of use isn't important, right? I mean, it beat out neutrality. It beat out parental controls. Uh, so clearly we all think that ease of use is important. Um, so anyway. Uh, oh yeah, with a bad remote. Yeah, good clarification. Anyway, um, <laughs> somebody's a... Uh, uh douglas adams reader apparently isn't that isn't that what that was yeah i'm pretty sure um okay cool so yeah like i said this is going to help me out a lot now before we go uh because we're not quite done for today i do want to remind everybody 
first of all, that you know, just in case uh, she showed up, the winner from last week's giveaway, the Anchor USB-C charger, is Belinda Mullins. So, Belinda, congratulations. Uh, well done entering. Um, and I hope the rest of you will all go check out the giveaways page. It's linked at the top of the chat. Um, but I'm not going to concentrate on it too much today because we're not putting a new uh, giveaway up this week. Uh, we should have another one. I think we'll have another one next week. It might be two weeks from now. But this week we are doing the dream job. So let me get this uh, link one more time for you. Uh, but this dream job, we do these every so often. Um, and I highly encourage you to go check this one out because it is uh, getting paid $2,000 to try 10 different subscription boxes. So if you didn't see the announcement for this on the YouTube channel, then you can go watch the announcement here on this page. Let me uh, post that page uh, on both YouTube and Facebook if it'll if it'll go. Sometimes Facebook has trouble, but there you go. Um, it, all you need to do is come down here on, onto this page. Uh, you go down to the bottom and you apply to... Uh, to be our subscription box specialist. That's what we're calling it. There you go. All you need to do is be 18 or older and eligible to work in the US and you can apply. And then once you, uh, whoever is chosen, we'll announce this next week, uh, can choose from several different uh, boxes, several of these subscription boxes. So if you listen to any podcasts, if you watch any uh, you know internet video, you've probably seen ads for many of these, right? So Harry's obviously... Um, let's see, Blue Apron, HelloFresh. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of um, a, a lot of stuff that you've probably heard of and wondered: Is that really worth it? Um, my understanding, and hey, and hey, this is just me, so I don't know for sure. But my understanding is that in its infancy, the subscription box uh, industry was kind of a crock in a lot of instances, not in all instances, but in its infancy, it was like. Hey, we got some extra crap laying around. Let's see if people will sign up for Box and we'll send them something. Now, it seems like it's matured into something that is often, though not always, much more worth your while. And that's what we want to crack the code of, is which ones of these are actually worth people's time and money? Um, especially money, because it's all about saving you time, right? But what, which one of these are, are actually worth your money? Uh, so that's what this uh, subscription box specialist is going to help us do is uh figure out which ones are worth it um now that uh, now that the subscription box craze is pretty firmly established we'll see uh see how things go let's see is that a one-time payment or a recurring payment it should be in the uh, in the terms and conditions on that same page so yeah go check out those terms and conditions i like i said you need to be 18 or older eligible to work in the u.s uh there's some other um you know, fine print things on there, but those are the basics of it. So yeah, please go apply. Uh, we'll be announcing the dream job specialist, the, the subscription box specialist next week. So join in the live stream then. Um, I will be right here announcing that. I hope to see you there. So everybody, thank you so much for joining this week. It was really great to have you all with me. Um, I am Craig. Go follow me on Twitter right there. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm not that active, but I do respond. So if you, um, if you want to tweet at me, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, you know, content ideas, uh, would love to hear them. You can find me on Twitter. That's off, often the easiest way to get to me. So thanks again. And, uh, I will see you